Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up mode dials 1 and 2. These are pre-programmable options, so that way you can set up your shutter speed, aperture, white balance, color setting, even frame rate of your choice to anything you want, and then pre-program 1 and 2 with the settings of your choice. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, mode dials 1 and 2. I'm going to show you how to set them up for uh, mode dial 1 to be 60p and uh, mode dial 2 to film in 120p because I like to do a lot of video and I will use mode dial 1 and 2 to switch to quick frame rates for slow-mo. But uh, pretty much however you set up your camera on manual or shutter or aperture priority mode, that can be programmed to your mode dials 1 and 2. So in my example, I'm going to have my camera in uh, manual mode. Uh, normally I like to film 24p and I do the one uh, 80 degree, 180 degree shutter rule. So when I film 24p, I got a shutter of 150. So let's say I want to program mode dial one. So I'm going to go to set my frame rate first. Now, if you're just doing pictures, this doesn't really matter to you. But uh, for video, I'm going to set my frame rate to 60p. Since I'm doing the 180 shutter rule, I'm going to set my shutter speed to double the frame rate, so 125. So now I'm at 60p, I'm at 125, I'm at f1.8, you can set the aperture to whatever you'd like. This will just default to that depending on the aperture of your lens that is on your camera. Uh, I've got it set to manual focus, I can set it to autofocus if I want, or manual focus. Pretty much however you've got this set up, this will be saved as a memory copy into the mode dial 1 or 2 that you save. So now this is how I want it. Picture profile off, manual focus. If you have a picture profile on, that will, that's how it's going to save to the mode dial. So now I'm going to menu. I go into the camera and I go over to option 8. And then I go down to memory. Now that brings me to the memory screen so I can set these settings 125, 60p, f1.8 in manual mode, ISO auto, manual focus, my focus point, picture profile 6. That's what I have it set to for video. It was off because I have it on silent electronic shutter, so that's why it says off in manual camera mode. And I want it on 1, so I leave it on 1, press the button in the middle, it's saved. So now, if I set my camera back to 24p, since I like to shoot in 24p, shut my shutter back to 50. Okay, so when I'm in manual mode, I'm filming 24p. Oh, I want some slow-mo. Quickly switch to the mode dial 1. It brings up the settings, and there I am. I'm in 60p, 125 shutter, the f-stop I've chosen, all these settings, just like I pre-programmed them quickly and easily with the turn of the mode dial. 24p, 60p. Easy as that. So finally, I like to set my mode dial 2 to 120 frame rate because sometimes I want to do some super slow-mo. So that's for video work. If you're just doing photo, that doesn't really matter about your frame rate. You just want to set your shutter, your aperture, maybe the picture style you want or creative style you want. However you set it up in manual or shutter mode or aperture, that's what will be saved. So like for example, I'm going to set my slow-mo, my 120 frame rate, I'm going to set it with a fixed shutter so that way the aperture will be free and the ISO will be free to choose on its own for exposure. Just the shutter will respectively stay the same. So I'm going to, well, I can set the shutter first if I want. So I'm doing slow-mo, 120 frame rate, I'm going to set my shutter to 1 two fiftieth and now I'm going to go to record settings now to do 120 frame rate you gotta set your file format to XAVCS now you have the option for 120 I want uh, here watch if I set it to autofocus it'll be autofocus it's going to set to shutter always the aperture is auto ISO is auto now I go menu into the camera, over to number 8, memory, and this time I've got option for 1 or 2, I'm going to choose 2. And now it's saved for number 2, so now let's set my regular manual mode back to 
What I like, I like AVC HD 24P for regular. And I'll set my shutter speed back down to, two, to 50 for the 180 shutter rule. All right, so filming 24P, 150 shutter. Oh, I want some slow-mo. Let's go to 60P. Option, turn to mode dial one, choose option one. And there I am, 60P, 120. Oh, I want some super slow-mo. Turn it to option two, mode dial two. There it is. And there I am in 120, 250 shutter, set the way I liked it. So it's just as easy as that, turning your mode dial, and now you've got your frame rates all set up for some quick slow-mo. Or for your photography, you set the shutter speed the way you want. You want to get to 1,000 shutter speed quick. You want to get to some black and white mode quick. Easy as setting it to one or two. Now... There's more though. See how there's one, then there's M1, M2, M3, M4. You have on each mode dial five different slots for five different settings that you want. So once again, let's say I want, uh, let's say I want the shutter speed and the 60p together. So auto shutter with 60p. Okay, I'm gonna set to 60p. Shut my shutter speed to 125. And now I'm going to save it. This is the way I want it saved. Memory. I got option one, option two, and M1. So I'm going to choose M1. And there I am. So now if I go over to one, I got option for one, which I set to manual, so full manual. F-stops manual, shutter speeds manual, ISO left auto, or I can go to M1, which is shutter speed is set to manual of 125, but the aperture doesn't show up because it's set to auto and the ISO is auto. So I could choose that. So thank you for watching how to set up your mode dials one and two on your A7 series camera. Hope this helps you get some quick slow-mo for your video or the proper shutter speed for your photography. And if it helped you out, please like the video below. Thank you for watching.